Hi, welcome to a new video. If it's your first time on my channel, my name is Igor, I'm a professional athlete and I recently moved to Japan with my wife and three kids and we are currently in quarantine for 14 days in a hotel room in Tokyo. So in this video I will explain how quarantine works, who's with me in quarantine, how we eat, how we train, what we are doing during these 14 days. Let me first show you the room, how it looks. So that's the entry and here we have a small area where we can prepare some coffee, some really crazy good thing I never saw anywhere else drip bag coffee and when you enter to the room that's the living room space here you can see the bike I will tell you more about that later small couch TV that's where I eat that's my dinner table here and a pretty pretty nice view of the park Tokyo on this side Tokyo here. By the way, the view is nice, but one thing we really miss, the windows cannot be opened. You can even get some fresh air because the windows are sealed. But it is what it is, let's continue. Well, from here, you can enter the sleeping area. So that's my bed. I have another bed, but since I'm alone, I sleep here and here I put my suitcase. Here we have a small storage and you enter the bathroom. Here is the thing that I never saw before coming to Japan. So yeah, Japanese toilets, they are fun. As you can see, my room is quiet and uh, empty. That's because my family, my wife and three kids are here next to me in this room behind this wall. They separate us for the reason. I don't know. I guess uh, that's the rules, so we have to follow them. But yeah, they are just next to me, but I'm not allowed to go to their room and they're not allowed to come to my room. We see us on FaceTime and through the windows. There is a small gap here. We can see us uh, through the windows. And let me explain how quarantine works. So we are on the seventh floor of uh, the Riga Royal Hotel in Tokyo. It's uh, me with my family. It's Denner Yanima. It's uh, Diego Pinheiro and his wife. It's Luca Balo. You know handball, no need to present him. And two women from Korea. I'm sorry, I don't know the names. But we are all on the same floor, so we are isolated. And we are currently uh, seven days into the quarantine, so it's half already. I think that now it's gonna start to get easier on the head because we are counting back now obviously we are not allowed to meet each other we can see us on the floor when we go outside to pick up uh, our food I will show you how it works for the food also so we can see us we can wave at each other so our last quarantine days is the 14th of November it means that 15th I think it's Monday we are able to go out finally go to our uh, clubs so Luke will stay here in Tokyo because he plays for a club uh, located in Tokyo me dinner Diego and obviously our families we are gonna take the Shinkansen that's the Japanese bullet train and we are gonna head to Nagoya and that's the city where we all gonna be living Diego is gonna play in another club but Denner and me we are gonna play in the same club Daito Steel Phoenix so that's how quarantine works for us So let's talk training. So as you can see behind me, I have an indoor bike and my daily schedule is like this. In the morning, I wake up, I take the breakfast and after I drink my coffee and uh, you know, the usual stuff you do in the morning. So then I jump on the bike and I try to do between 45 minutes and one hour of bike. And then in the afternoon, I have a kettlebell here. So I think it's a 20 kilo kettlebell. I can do squats, I can do kettlebell swings, I can do Actually, you can do anything. You just have to think of a, a, an exercise that you, you you need or you want to do. Overall, I have almost everything I need. It's not perfect, obviously, but it's more than enough for 14 days. And as soon as we get out, we're gonna slowly get back in shape and back in business. So that's how I train in my room. And now about food. It's now one o'clock, so it's lunchtime. As I hear that uh, they are uh, ringing on my door, this means that the food is ready. So let me show you how it works. Every day is the same drill breakfast, lunch and dinner. The hotel staff brings us our food upstairs and leave the trays outside our doors on the table. They then ring our doorbell to let us know that the food is ready for pickup. We can then sit at our table and enjoy the meal with a nice view. I will not make you watch me eating. I'm gonna quickly eat it while it's hot and then I come back to explain to you how we order this. More on that later. I'm gonna eat quickly. So now that I show you how we get our food, how we eat, let me show you how we order. 
Kondo-san, who is the person taking care of us during quarantine, will slip a paper underneath our doors. And this paper is the menu for breakfast, lunch and dinner for the very next day. Each of us has then to choose between several options. In the morning, it's either American or Japanese breakfast. And then, for lunch and dinner, you can choose between four different options. Once we completed the paper, we have to put it back outside on the table. So another thing that needs to be taken care of, it's uh, laundry. Uh, because we are training and, you know, just being here, we still have to, to, to change our clothing, sometimes twice a day. They gave us this bag to put our dirty laundry inside. And we have to leave it in front of our room by 11 a.m. in order to get it back the next morning. And this process happens every second day. So yeah, people, that's how it looks in quarantine. And obviously, uh, it's not the same for everybody. That's how I function uh, during the day here. For Anya, right here behind me, it's for sure not the same day. It's for sure more action, more entertainment from the kids. That's it, guys, for this video. I hope you liked it. I wanted to show you how it looks like in quarantine. And it makes my day also go faster while I'm editing this video, while I'm shooting this video. I'm really looking forward to get out of this quarantine prison, to take the Shinkansen, the bullet train, that's gonna be a fun experience for me and for the family to finally get to the city of Nagoya where we're gonna live for the next month and maybe more, we'll see. To also finally get to our apartment because we saw it only on pictures and on pictures it looks nice but you know, once you're inside it's a different feeling and I'm really, 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 I cannot express how much I'm impatient to finally start play handball again and start to play handball in Japan to see how it is, how it goes and things like this. So yeah, please consider subscribing. It's gonna help me and it's gonna motivate me to do more videos like this. So I guess we see us in the next video. Bye.